an electric skateboard. We have a 12S UVEC that has a dual output. We only need one of these um, typically. The other one's usually for other external accessories that you want to add, such as RC lights or something similar. So what we have here is we have a long wire. This long wire here, this long three wire, is actually a ESE signal wire. That's what I like to call it. This is the one that gets plugged into your receiver. This one here, the shorter one, is your programming wire. This short one plugs into your ESC uh, programming card. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. So we have that one there. Plug that one in. Now we're going to plug in our on off switch, which is connected to our series connector here. I'm going to go ahead and power these on. Batteries, and what we want to do is here's our UBEC and one of the wires. We're going to plug this into the right side of the ESC card, and we're going to take the short wire, which is our ESC programming wire, and we're going to plug it into the right side with the black wire facing the right. There you have it. If you need to see it closer. This here is the ESC programming wire. This one is your power to power on this ESC card. And then we're going to go ahead and take that switch, which controls our power. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So it turns on. So it should be two different settings. If you turn it off again, you'll see. Basically, also, when you plug this in, you want to make sure nothing is connected to our ESC signal wire. If something, if this is connected into, let's say, a Y connector or your ESC, this will cause issues and it will be stuck on the first screen. Um, the first model number is going to be the model number for the ESC programming card and the second model is actually the programming firmware for the actual ESC. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on now. As you can see, it went through two different options. So once you get to here, you can then control it. Basically, the options are, one is motor timing, and you can set this um, anywhere from normal all the way to very high. I suggest you test it with your setup and see how well you prefer. Motor timing, acceleration, and running mode, I usually put for forward and brake brake force I usually keep at about 70 to 80 um, you can adjust this too I like my brakes kind of soft that way when I'm braking when I'm riding really fast and I brake it doesn't it's not such a forceful brake it's more of a gradual brake next is drag brake I keep this at zero basically what drag brake is as soon as you let off of the throttle it will basically add a certain amount of brake which you set I keep this completely off because I like to cruise and if I cruise with drag brake it will basically just add a drake or add a brake to that cruise. Cut off voltage. I set this at 3.4 volts just to be safe. Make sure that I'd never get cut off properly. One thing you have to know is the cut off voltage will only work properly if you set your board um, and it's fully charged and once you turn off your board after you've been riding for a while it will take the total amount of voltage and divide it by how many series it thinks it is so always make sure that you don't under voltage your batteries on accident if you turn it on on one route and then going on the way back you turn it on again but your voltage is really low just keep an eye on it usually I don't trust this 100 percent and I want to get a sense or a feel for how long my battery is going to last. Other than that, the next one is max forward force. Usually I keep this to 100. Max reverse force, this is set to 40, but it doesn't matter if you're not using reverse. Motor rotation is normal right now. If you were to use reverse or you wanted to spin the motor the other, the other direction, you'd select reverse. But in this case, we'll go ahead and click on normal. Neutral range. Neutral range is your throttle and 
the distance on your throttle for your remote um, when it actually responds. I like to set it at 3%. It gives me more range of motion on my controller and when I pull the trigger it's more immediate than if I was at 9%. Battery type, usually we use RC LiPo batteries or batteries with a 3.7 volt nominal. So in that case I would use LiPo. And we're back at motor timing. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You go ahead and turn off the power here. And once it turns off, that ESC is pretty much programmed. That's all there is. Please let me know if you have any questions.